Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about how you can create GIFs on Procreate, upload them to Jiffy, and put them on Instagram stories for everyone else to use. If this is something you want to learn from, make sure to keep watching to know more about it. So if you're new to GIFs, don't worry, I'm also relatively new to the idea of making GIFs. I started learning GIFs when I was watching Bardo Brush's video on how to animate using Procreate, but I only got into the hang of it recently, so I wanted to share with you how I do this process. So a quick background, what are GIFs? GIFs are basically animated graphics. So GIF is short for Graphics Interchange Format. And by having different layers, you're able to animate a certain text, an image, or anything for that matter. Online, there are so many websites that you can use to create GIFs as well as um, apps on your phone that you can use for like videos, turning it into GIFs. But for today's video, we're going to be focusing on making our own artwork using the app Procreate and converting them to GIFs before uploading to Jiffy. So if you're not familiar with Jiffy, it is a website where you can find thousands, maybe millions of GIFs for you to use. And these are the GIFs that you can find when you go to Instagram stories and upload posts, stories, or share something online. So before we get to the part where we actually make the GIFs, the first thing I want you to do is to research on design ideas and color schemes and the overall theme that you want to create for your GIFs. You can make one GIF, you can make three GIFs. For me, I want to start making like at least five GIFs. So make sure to check out my GIFs by typing in ABC on Instagram stories. That's no space, it's just ABC. And you'll find a couple of graphics that I've made for Instagram stories. So yeah, try to think about what color scheme you want to go with, what style, and what type of GIFs you actually want to make. For this one, I pulled in a lot of um, suggestions from people on Instagram, my patrons. I also made Patreon-specific GIFs so that my patrons can use them for promoting Patreon-related stuff. And yeah, the whole idea is really to draw it out first. I did have a notebook to sort of like consult with in terms of writing down my ideas, drawing them out, because it's really important to have that before getting into Procreate and you start with a blank canvas. So the next part is to create your GIFs on Procreate. So I'm using Procreate, but you can also use Photoshop. It's kind of the same thing, except some of the controls might be different. I just find Procreate to be an easy app to use with regards to this kind of project. So of course, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open Procreate, and I now have a stack of community GIFs. As you can see here, it's going to create a new file and usually I like to use 2000 by 2000 pixels. This is something that we will probably change depending on the graphic that we come up with. So the first one I'm going to show you is a basic lettering GIF. So I'm going to use the monoline brush. I just find this easier to work with because it is pretty much straightforward. It's also very thick. So let's do something like today. By the way, I've set my brush to more or less like 65 streamline. That way it's easier for me to control the flow of the brush. And that's something that's very important. So I'm going to create the lettering today on one layer first. So as you can see, I'm not using the full square shape of the file and we're gonna work on that later on. So now I have the first layer. I'm going to reduce the opacity because I wanna create a wiggly effect and the only way you can make that is by tracing over the first layer and by tracing over that and not directly tracing over the exact same measurements, you create this mini movement that instantly creates animation. It's a very simple analyzation, but took me a while to actually get it. I was like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. So the next layer, I am going to trace over it, but I'm not going to make sure that it's directly on top of it. You know, it can always be a bit 
to the side and that way it also creates character for your text so with this animation style you can actually do a lot of different layers I can actually do three so when I do three I can lower the opacity of the second one and I'm gonna add another layer here so that way it has three different movements and you want to make sure that when you're lettering it's not so far out it's still within the same area with the other layers that way there's not much big movements but instead you get like subtle movements of each layer so I'm just going to finish this up. I find this is my favorite way to animate GIFs because it's just super simple, super straightforward. And now I'm going to put back the layer opacities to 100. So make sure that your background color is also checked out so that way it's not visible. And as I mentioned, this full file is a square we're going to crop it because it's just going to be easier for Jiffy to detect where the GIF actually is so I'm just gonna crop it according to size click done cropping canvas remove the background color and now the fun part is exporting so you click on this wrench here go to share when you go to share click on animated GIF Take note, it has to be animated GIF, not animated MP4 because MP4 gives a black background. We go to animated GIFs and as you can see, the frames per second here is 15. We're going to lower that because it feels like the layers are on steroids and they're like, wow. So we're gonna tone it down to three. As you can see here, it's like a subtle movement, but very cute. The alpha threshold, I don't move it because if I do, it's just going to be sharper and that's not something I'm really after. So click export once you're happy with it. And in this case, I'm just going to save image, but I can also upload it to Dropbox or depending on where I'm going to host the file because I usually use Dropbox to sync all my files. Now let's do something else to add a little bit more fun. I'm going to change the colors of the other layers. So let's try an orange color for the second layer. And for the third layer, let's do a green. Obviously, I have my very specific color choices. Now you have three different colors. And what that's going to do is when I animate it to the GIFs, it's going to manifest different colors. And I think that's also a nice layer of movement. So not only do you have the wiggly text, you also have different colors. So this is also another GIF that I can use. So first I'm going to create this very popular star shape here. And I'm gonna fill it with the color yellow. Now not only that, I can also use different colors and shapes to add different elements and dimensions. So I'm gonna use different shades of yellow and I'm gonna add in some trails and different ways on how I can decorate it. You can also add white. Now I have a bias, it's either I make white GIFs or yellow because I just find that it's easier to use when it comes to adding them on Instagram stories versus other kinds of GIFs. But you know, you can definitely experiment and play around with different colors depending, as I mentioned, on what you want to achieve. So now I created this very simple star doodle. I'm gonna double check with the background if it's enough. So it's also square. So I'm not gonna crop anything here, but this is very simple compared to the wiggly animation. You're just going to duplicate the layer by swiping to the right, click duplicate, and you're going to click on this arrow, this arrow where you see this like transform box. You're going to hover towards the green part and just move it to the left or to the right. So it's going to make this like little moving effect. You know, it's simple, subtle animation, but it does the trick. And then I'm going to du duplicate the same layer and I'm gonna move it now to the right. So you can always go to export and see the preview here. So we're gonna go to animated GIF. So yeah, it's a basic movement, but now it kind of feels weird because it's like center, left, and right. So I'm going to make it left, center, and right. I'm just gonna move the very first layer to the middle part to create that sort of fluid movement. 
if you're creating a GIF that's like a clock or something, I think this is going to be super functional because you have arrows. So I'm just gonna reduce it to, usually when I do the frames per second, it's two or three because I don't want it to be like super wiggly. I feel like it's too forced. So yeah, I'm just going to export this and basically we're done. So when you go on Jiffy, you first have to apply for an artist or brand channel depending on what track you want to go, but I apply for an artist channel. And before you get to apply to an artist channel, you have to upload five original GIFs. So let's talk about the uploading process first. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Just click upload, add in your file. You can also make a GIF, I believe, right on Jiffy, but I just like making it in advance just so I have full control in what it looks like. Once I upload the GIF, um, you now have the liberty to add hashtags and a source. So if you want to promote a certain website or your Instagram account or your TikTok, make sure to add that in the link, in the source link. I highly suggest adding as much hashtags as you can. For me, of course, I added the basics like ABC, always be creating, and depending on what I'm going to be designing, I will make sure to add relatable hashtags. For example, arrows, stars, fun, create today, and stuff like that. That way, when people search for your GIFs, yours will be on the top or at least at the first 10 or first 20 that people will find. And that is really important because one of the recent ones that I uploaded randomly, I was like, okay, I'll add in the you've got mail um, pin design. I turned it into a GIF. It went viral on the first day that I uploaded it. It was literally trending on Instagram stories and I have not even publicized my GIFs names yet, like my hashtags. So yeah, it's a very cool thing to take note of. So hashtags are generally important so that people can find your artwork. So once you upload everything on Jiffy, apply for an artist channel. To apply, you just have to fill in a couple of details and really um, like, confirm that these artworks are original and made by you and then you will be getting an email from Jiffy saying that your application was submitted and it went through. Just wait for a good like two to three days before Jiffy gets back to you and gives you the go signal to say that you are now an artist channel which is cool. It's like oh now I'm verified and Jiffy knows that I exist and that I can upload more GIFs. So basically after that it's just smooth sailing. Usually when you upload a GIF do know that it will take at least one to two days for the GIFs to appear on Instagram stories. I think we're all like very impatient. Like once we upload a GIF, you're like, it has to be on Instagram stories. No, it's not that way. So it takes a while to show on Instagram stories. One thing I want you to remember and take note of is sometimes what you upload on Jiffy looks okay, but when you go to Instagram stories, it might look a little blurry or pixelated. Usually during that time, I like to edit my graphics, re-upload. I do, I'm very OC guys. I just find like if I zoom in or like enlarge the GIF and it's very pixelated, I'm like, I feel so bad that I can't use it. One thing that I also would like to remind you as I mentioned earlier in the demo is that you should use brushes that are thick and mostly not pencil-ish or grainy because that is not going to render well in the final file. So yeah, basically that is it. That is how you make GIFs on Instagram stories. Let me know if you have more questions on how to create GIFs and I do hope you enjoy making your own GIFs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to know more about how-to videos, I did finally curate my playlist of how to's on procreate like procreate lettering how to design stickers let me know also what next how to you want to see i haven't filmed a how to video in so long but i do want to help you out on your creative journey in any way that i can make sure to also like share and subscribe this video as well as follow me on instagram for more tips and advice it's at abc follow our community at alwaysbecreating.art and my shop at shop abc and if you want to support this channel be part of our monthly art club at patreon.com abc where i take you through the behind the scenes of making these videos we have monthly journaling hangouts, podcast episodes, blog posts, a lot of exclusive access to all these amazing rewards. And we have a fun Discord channel where we talk about basically everything. So I hope you check it out and I hope you check out my other videos and I will see you guys on the next one. 
always be creating and never stop learning. This has been Abby, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.